Hi guys and welcome to another Witch's Boudoir slash Sandra Sparks makeup tutorial and today I will apologise because my son is sat busy playing in the same room that I'm filming so you may hear my son in the background playing um, but yeah as you guys can see I have already done my foundation concealer and eyes today um, purely just to save a little bit of time if you are wondering about the eye look I will be putting what I've used as my eye design um, actually in my blog um, I'm kind of using this idea of like sunshades and sunsets so yeah that's kind of like the inspiration today um, a bit of bright and colorful look today um, so yeah um, next I'm going to be basically continuing this look with my design which is another moon glyph um, this is the design for life um, which is a really pretty little design um, personally this is kind of like a little bit of a twist on an ambulance symbol or a medical symbol um, which is again you know about life and health anyway um, so yeah um, I will be trying to like not let Bart end up in the film um, because he is a bit of a camera um, addict and he does like to be on camera so I will warn you he probably will end up in, in camera shot at some point but yeah he's fine so yeah, to start the design, I am literally going to be using my liquid liner, which is the Make Me Up liquid liner that I'm using. Um, so yeah, to start with, I'm just going to create a kind of double curved kind of loop. So yeah, to start with, I'm just going to draw two circles joining together. That's one. And I'm making these circles quite big purely because there's two dots inside of them, but more on that later. So they kind of look like a figure eight here right now. Um, and then what you do in, on the bottom is you go right to left, like So, and then on the top, again, put pointing upwards. Like so. And next, I'm going to just finish this design off by placing two dots inside the first circles. like so and that is literally the design as I said it is very cute it is very quick and simple it is literally two circles two dots in the center and two little uh, lines pointing outwards from the first circles like so so yeah to finish the design yeah. off as I was saying before I had to pause my camera, um, next I'm going to be finishing the look off with highlighter, blusher and lipstick um, as I would normally. Um, I don't know if I've got my lipstick out. Yes, I have. Um, so yeah, firstly I'm going to be using a highlighter which is the Estate Jumi Pot which is in the shade Afterglow which is a slight, slight lilac shade. Um, I just really like this highlighter. It just works really well for me. Um, I do find that most highlighters are either really over pigmented and really, really bright or, you know, they're just either too dark for my skin tone. But I do find this one really quite nice to use. Um, I will say that this one actually works quite nicely as an eyeshadow as well. I have used it like that. So that's my highlighter done. Um, next, I'm going to be using the Benefit California. Um, this is like a little sample, which I'm still using. I got this back in September in 2018. There we are, 2018. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I have used it quite a bit. I haven't hit pan yet, but I'm sure I'm going to eventually. So yeah, it is pretty much my standard blusher. So 
So that is my blusher done and my highlighter done. And next for my lipsticks. Um, lipstick today is a little bit of a different one. It is a bit more of a bright shade. Um, purely because I wanted something a bit bright, a bit colourful, um, a little bit different than what I would normally wear. Um, so I am using the, the Illamasque. Um, and this is in the shade Nebula. This is actually a really bright neon pink. Um, it is a bit like a Barbie pink, um, but I do actually really like this shade and it just works so pretty on my lips. So yeah, I'm going to be using this one today. So that is the lipstick. As you can see on camera, it is a slight purpley pink. Um, it is very bright and very bold, um, but I do actually really, really like the shade. Um, next, I'm actually going to use my highlighter again and just add a little bit of glitz to this lipstick. Um, so yeah, just using a lipstick pencil, a uh, brush even. So there we go, it's a little bit more glitzy, it's a little bit more tonal, um, but yeah, it is a very pretty little trick this, adding highlighter over the top of your lipstick. It kind of turns down the lipstick shade, especially for this lipstick, which is Nebula from Ella Masqua. Um, and yeah, it just turns it down slightly, it makes it a little bit subtle, but it does give a little bit of glitz. So yeah, that is today's makeup tutorial. Um, sorry it is a short video again. I've just been so busy at the moment. I just want to get my videos a little bit shorter um, just so I can focus on a few other things that I'm doing. Um, as you guys know, if you read my uh, blog on Tuesday or Monday, you would know that I'm actually in the process of writing a load of books um, to hopefully get published in the next few years. Um, currently I have six books that I'm working on for publishing that isn't all like sci-fi fiction, um, you know, stories um, that I'm all like producing as a storybook but you know individual storybooks. Um, I also have a poetry book that I'm working on as well um, as well as like raising my son and doing things in the house so yeah there is a lot going on at the moment. Um, I will apologize again about why I have changed the days of my blog um, upload. That was a little bit weird the camera just went very dark. Um, I will apologize again for you know changing the days of my actual blog. Um, this is purely due to the fact that, you know, I've just been overwhelmed with stuff that I've been doing and just haven't found time to actually fit everything in. Plus the fact uploading on a Sunday just doesn't work for me anymore. It used to, it now doesn't. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much change, changing time for me on that. Um, however, I am still going to be uploading on a Tuesday and a Friday, as I said, on Monday's blog and Tuesday's blog. Um, so yeah, my next blog won't be Sunday this weekend, it will be Monday next week. Um, and Monday next week I am hoping will be a unboxing and review on the Glossy Box, which I'm hoping will arrive 
today. Um, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will arrive today and then I will give you guys a review on that on Monday. Um, I also have a few things that are coming up in this month, um, which will be all released next week, Monday. Um, my next tutorial makeup wise will be on Tuesday. Um, if you have enjoyed this makeup look um, and enjoyed the actual design, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to also check out my blog, The Witch's Boudoir, which I will upload on uh, tomorrow today anyway. Um, but I'll also be telling you what products I have used actually in this look and a little bit more about what is going on on my stories. So yeah, you guys will get to see a lot more on The Witch's Boudoir about what I'm writing um, and why certain stories are taking more priority over others um, and why I'm actually aiming to actually get these books finished in the next five to six years. So yeah. I shall see you all on Monday. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I shall see you all on Monday. I will be uploading on Instagram as always. So if you do follow me on Instagram as well, link will be in my blog, The Witch's Boudoir. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you will get to see a lot more of my looks that you don't generally get to see actually on my YouTube or in my blog, The Witch's Boudoir. So yeah, I shall see you all on Monday. 